Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ludney and today I bring you a brand new video where we're gonna talk about using Canva to create an OSVP. So basically we're gonna be using Canva template, we're gonna modify them a little bit like I did with my wedding invite, another video that I've made for you guys, go check it out. And so I'm gonna be showing you how I modify mine and basically something similar to the one that I did for my wedding. And afterward, you can either point them on Canva or point them on your local pointing stores like Bureau and Go in Montreal. And after using the Canva template, you can also use the Canva template using Adobe Reader DC so you can create a form so you can send them to your the people that you're sending the RSVP via email so they just can check it the list or they can write their name very easily with the uh, PDF format of the template. So if you're interested in seeing this type of video, keep watching. So to start, I went to Canva and I write down RSVP. And I was looking for a template that would correspond to the vibe and uh, what I wanted to put on my RSVP. So I searched down, I was looking at there's so many different types of RSVP cards or template I should say on Canva. So I kept looking to find the best one and um, you can see there's so many options, right? So I kept searching to see which one looked the best. And I finally found one. So this is how it looks like. Very basic, kindly respond, RSVP, can't wait, and cheer for more far from people who's not coming. So since mine were in French, so I didn't like change the wording because like I'm not showing you the French version. So I basically keep it kind of the same except I changed like the background because I wanted something more like my um, invite something exactly like my invite I should say something very pink and pretty so that's why I use this template it's like you go and you write down photo background and then you can find so many different uh, pictures that look really good and then I kind of move the things a little bit around to find like the perfect fit for it and then um, so you can basically change the date to put like the date that you want people to respond you by and um, I'll show you how I modify the vest so I was changing the date to put something in May because of my wedding I gave people like uh, a couple of weeks basically to respond to me because I needed their response so I know like you know for the food who's gonna who's gonna come so i know how much food i need you know all of those things <laughs> basically why you need to prepare your wedding you need to know how much people are coming before like or three months before so you can really prepare and so i started changing and adding another line because i wanted to have two lines one for allergies and then one for people to buy their name because i'm inviting one people but some of them will probably bring uh, a date or something or their own family because like sometimes I'm sending um, invites to my to my uncle who have families they are bringing my cousins and um, and their wives so I started to like move all of like the name and allergy that I write down a little bit to like center it into the middle and then I'll decide to like leave uh, can't wait and chill you for a little bit up like between them so all of those things that i'm doing right now is to make the cards look way better and more personalized and then after i'm done that you'll see exactly how it looks like So I decided to modify the text a little bit to make it a little bit more like happy. <laughs> so I said, of course, uh, I can't wait as like a response that someone could like check the box for that, that they are coming to your wedding. And then the second one is like, unfortunately, um, I won't be able to make it or something like that. So you'll see. You can put whatever wording that you want because basically it's 
how you would talk or how you want the cut to look like so now you can see that I changed the colors a little bit and I like center I put like the check mark so you can check of course or you can check unfortunately and then I write names uh, like that I changed the colors so I'll show you like the pet color that I use and then I put a little box on top like the square and I put my address and my email let's say that person wanted to send me the response via email so they'd be able to do so especially since I'm gonna be creating a form with PDF that they can be able to send me via email so it's very important that they know they can have two options either send it by mail or send it via email so that's what I did there and then uh, I'm gonna show you just click on the print uh, point cards and I'm gonna show you the price that you can like purchase it like on Canva directly so it's basically uh, not expensive at all and uh, it's kind of affordable, I feel like, on Canva compared to other stores. I don't know, it's because they are printing a lot. So you can see here, you can I choose like premium paper, but you can choose whatever you want. You could also choose the deluxe paper if you wanted to. And you have to touch match finish or the, 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 the third one, because like if you want people to be able to write on them, they're going to be to be able to like write on them because the the gloss finish you cannot write on them so like i did that and actually like a hundred copies let's say because i'm having like a hundred guests or so i didn't take a hundred but like <laughs> if people are having a hundred so you can see the price it's not that expensive it's 53 dollars and this is also when you're ready to print it out on canva you can see exactly where the card is gonna be so you can change it move it fix it so it look really perfect for you to print out and uh, yeah, I'll download like the PDF that I'm gonna be using for the other part of the video, which is the Adobe Reader part. For this part, you know the Adobe Reader uh, DC. So I went to Files, and then I click on uh, Create a Form. I know you guys don't see it. Yeah, and then I select the files. For some reason, it didn't show you the the other thing that show up but you have to go to create the file and to create a form and then I select the file which is the PDF that I download from Canva and uh, I charge the file you can see that's the exact PDF that I just downloaded from Canva and then I start when you open it, it took a little time to like show you everything but you're gonna see they already put the boxes over there but I'll show you how to create the boxes by yourself if you want to do it if it doesn't show so I'll delete them just so I can show you how to put them up if uh, when you do that it doesn't show. So I delete those uh, text and then you go to, you see the one with the T up front? That's the one called text that I put in. So I click on the T, you drag it down to the line exactly where you want it. You can modify it pretty well. There's a lot of things you can do to it. You can like change it a little bit, like make it smaller. And I did that for both of them so basically trying to see how it's working like um and then i drag it down for a second time first one i make it bread so it's like it's the the thing that is required that people have to do it if not you won't be able to like send me back the pdf exactly so when you open it they have to ask you to to find file <laughs> to write your name down i should say and i change the names like allergy you can see names on top so that's basically what i did and then you see the the, the thing that i put so you can check so i'm gonna use the check this time it's gonna be a little bit different from like the one check that I'm gonna be sending with uh, the email. It's a little bit like a square check, but that's the one that they have. Maybe they have other options, but that's the one that I've used because it's easy, it's simple, you know. So that's what I did, and uh, basically I'll drag another one over there. At the unfortunately, I can't come put just so. You know like people can have the option to check one or the other very simple so now it's just a question of previewing it so i can see exactly how it's gonna look when the person receives the pdf form how they're gonna open it and everything and um, basically it's quite simple as you can see here that's basically how it's gonna look people can edit it like i mean i can edit it but people are gonna be able to sign it so i saw that it was a little bit too big so i, I like i put the the name the text a little bit smaller so that people can like 
and then I moved the name because I feel like the name was like for some reason lowered when I download that and so I changed the name a little bit like by moving it a little and that's basically it like I have not done anything major else to the to the form and after that I just like like I said just trick it a little bit see preview it multiple times to see if I like it the way it come out and the moment that I did that like it's over now I can save it download it and then send it to my friends and family as a wedding invite so that's not just for wedding advice you can do that for any other type of form that you're trying to make or you can do that for the food choices which i'm making also but i'm not gonna make a video on this just because it's the sample it's still the same idea behind it and i wanted to thank you guys again for watching this video and um, this is like the two videos that I've made about my wedding so far, about wedding stuff that I've done. Hope you liked it and uh, subscribe so you can see more videos like this one.